Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Han Bin. So I've been coding for about three years now and I only started coding when I entered university. Before university, I had zero to no knowledge in coding and I only took up coding because I took computer science as my major. Before that, I had no experience. And needless to say, because of that, I had a tough time keeping up with my classmates when I was in class. And back then, I really wished that someone would have provided me with more information on how I can better kickstart my computer science journey. So today, I'll be sharing with you guys how I would learn coding if I were to start all over again. Take note, most of the things that I mentioned in this video are free and they are online and you can definitely pick them up with zero coding knowledge. So first would be to pick up a coding language. Any language is fine. The main thing here is to pick up a language that will allow you to easily understand how to read and write code. And the most important thing is to train the way that you think with code. As a programmer, you will learn a lot of languages along the way but the most important thing that will remain constant is the way that you think. I personally would recommend picking up Python because Python is quite a simple language and it's easy to start. With just a few phrases, you will be able to create functions and do multiple things and you will also be introduced to quite a number of basic theories such as variables, data types, loops, functions, if statements and lastly object-oriented programming which is very important and these concepts are not just limited to Python they apply to other languages as well so there are quite a number of free external resources that you can use and one of them is free code camp and the other one is coding with Mosh which I personally used and I will have them linked down below these courses are good because they go through step-by-step -step fundamentals and they even go through on how to set up your environment to properly allow you to code and with that you can go into step 2 and step 2 is to build a project. Now, you can choose any kind of projects that you want to build. And there are even some YouTube videos on the type of projects that you can focus on. And this has a huge range. You can go from building a mobile application to um, web development. And you can even go into game development. But I would personally recommend building a website using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. This way, you can gain a basic understanding of web development languages by building real sites from scratch. And you can also broaden your knowledge on how you can apply the theories that you have learned from your Python course and on top of that, you can also build a website for yourself, which is your own portfolio. And building your own website is relatively simple. You can just follow these tutorials here. With that, you can even choose to advance this project a little bit further by deploying it onto the web and making it live for people to view it. Next, I will recommend that you learn data structures and algorithms. So if you have already made it this far, chances are you have already come across some data structures and you can potentially learn further about them from the websites that you are already learning your basics from. And on top of that, there are a lot of free resources that teach data structures and algorithms as well. So the main reason why I recommend data structures and algorithms is because they are the basis to develop your thinking in terms of code. Learning about different data structures can give you massive edge over the application or website that you are currently building. After all, data structures are building blocks of any large scale software. For example, there are instances where you should use an array and there are other instances where a hash table would be better. And secondly, apart from data structures, you must also learn algorithms. If you are able to write recursive solutions well, then your code will be a lot shorter and neater and easier for people to understand. And this would mean that you are a much more efficient programmer as well. Also, data structures and algorithms are the main kind of interview questions for software engineering related roles. There are even websites like LeetCode, HackerRank and AlgoExpert that provide substantial amount of resources that train your ability to problem solve using data structures and algorithms. Alright, with that said, do take note that this will be a long journey. There will definitely be frustrations and there will definitely be problems and bugs that we need to fix. Don't be surprised if it takes you a few hours or even an entire day to solve the problem. Don't worry, it's normal. Even for people within the industry who have quite a few years of experience still take a few hours or even an entire day to solve a single bug and yeah you're gonna have to go through a lot of google searches go through stack overflow watch youtube videos on how to solve a simple problem and yeah you just have to get used to it and learn to love this entire process so with that said i hope you find this information useful if you have any questions do leave them in the comment section below and that's all for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video be sure to like and subscribe and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video.